This is a video of me planting Bermuda grass on a field in the back of our land. This project has really taken over a year. It all started with me clearing the mesquite off the land last spring. Everything around here looks nice and green in the springtime, but this land back here had no useful vegetation come summertime. I used a 16 foot disc on it last fall and then it let sit over the winter time. Now it's six months later and I'm spraying Roundup on everything to kill the spring weeds and the winter grass. This is two weeks after spraying and the winter grass and the spring weeds are all dead. The final step before actual planting is to drag this I-beam across the land and smooth off any bumps. It's much easier to smooth things out now when there's no vegetation than later, which is virtually impossible. The seed drill has been sitting up for over a year, so I need to do a little prep work. From frustrating experiences, one of the most important things is to get the old spiderweb nests out. This is the chart from the manual that shows how to set up the seed drill. I'm going to plant about 5 pounds per acre of seed, so I need to make this setting at 45. I get all my seed from Turner Seed up in North Texas. It's a great place to do business with, and they have quick delivery, and everything seems to work great. We have what's called a no-till seed drill, which means that you don't have to plow the soil first, and this is what the underneath of the drill looks like. This seed drill will do three types of seed. That front tube is connected to a big seed box, which is mostly for corn. We've never used that one. The middle big tube, it goes to what's called the native seed box, and we've used that one quite often, especially for WWB doll, which is a great grass. For this job, we're using the rear tube, which connects up to the small seed box. After over a year of prep work, it's finally time to start planting seeds. A strip of green vegetation will be no problem for this plow. It sure is aggravating to have a constant reminder of your mistakes. It's kind of hard to see in the shot, but there's a wheel at the front of the seed drill that turns an agitator that keeps the seeds moving along. I don't think I'd want to do this for days on end like a corn farmer, but the small fields that I do, this is kind of fun. Turning at the end of the row is kind of like a dance. You lift up on the three point to raise the drill, then you step on one side of the brakes, whip the tractor around, and you get going the other direction, you let go of the brakes, drop the three point, and start over in the next row. Some good Texas country music makes things go a lot better. If there's a particular type of music you like to listen to while you're working, please put it in the comments down below. So here's how this seed drill works. This front coulter makes a cut in the ground, and then there's two coulters that split that up, and then the seed drops in this little groove that's made. Here I'm showing you what some of the seed looks like. The root is very small. And there's this wheel that then closes the groove down and puts the seed at the right depth. All the tan colored ground, minus those green strips, is where I'm planting the Bermuda grass. The seed planting job is all done. In this shot, there's one of my arch enemies, the mesquite tree, one that escaped from last year's removal. There's supposed to be some rain the next day, so hopefully pretty soon we'll have some Bermuda grass popping up. This is a shot of another field where we have Bermuda grass planted that we've cut for hay. It's been about three weeks, and in some places you can see the seed coming up. And you can also see two of my favorite companions. Six weeks later, and you can actually see rows of grass. Pretty excited about it. 
There's also lots of weeds, lots of weeds, but we've had more rain than we've had in 15 years. Lots of rain means lots of weeds. It also means that this grass is pretty healthy. This is the aerial shot from three months after I planted and the grass is looking good. There's still lots of weeds. If it ever stops raining, I'll get back there and spray some pastor to kill most of these weeds. But for now, I just have to deal with the grass and the weeds. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that subscribe button. God bless. Take care.